Lucille Ball. And, and her husband. Her husband. And they made all those I Love Lucy shows. They did indeed, yeah. Yep. Uh, which was sponsored by mm. one company. And they they themselves actually fronted up the adverts for this company. And mm-hmm. they were advertising. It's the only product that they were connected with. Just one product. Right. And I looked it up and, fuck me, it's Marlborough cigarettes. Was it really? Marlborough bloody cigarettes. Well, there's a, Would there's, you Adam and Eve it? There's a, there's a little Would bit of a... Would you I like bloody it. Adam and Eve it? <coughs> Marlborough cigarettes, which urban legend says is decorated with the K's of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put up the money for Star Trek. That's... Now that, yep. that you th- now you think, whoa! Don't know, but well, that's a start, mm, isn't it? Indeed, it's very coincidental. It's a start, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it yeah. is a start. Yep, yep. Gene a, Roddenberry. A jury wouldn't convict. No, no. A jury wouldn't convict. Um, well, you're a real expert, aren't you? Well, I wouldn't on, call on, myself. On, a, you're going to make me sound like a geek now. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you know a few things. You know, you know all the the, the Starship Enterprise has got a number on it. Mm-hmm. NCC one seven zero one. One seven zero one. Yeah. One seven zero one. They're all one seven zero ones, aren't they? They are. Yeah. What's one seven zero one? What What does Star Trek say is the reason? One seven zero one. I don't know. It, I don't believe. I don't believe I recall the reason why. But uh... it's the address code for Philip Morris's. Philip Morris's headquarters in Richmond, the Virginia. The zip code, really, is it's it? It's the zip code. Wow. And I'm going to hold up a piece of paper and show it to Stuart because I like, I like when he goes. Ooh. Right. Okay. Hang on. I'll get the old uh, camera so everybody can see what I'm. As going to see. you yep. know, as you know, the Ku Klux Klan is a racist organisation. Absolutely, hideous yep. racist yep. organisation. Yep. Um, it is much more hideous than, for example, the Confederate cause in the american civil war Uh Mm -hmm. which was largely to retain slavery yep and we'll come back to the confederate thing in a bit but if you're a ku klux klan's person you're also a confederate yeah they still exist yep that's right fly their flag the old cross they do and all the rest of it yep virginia is the headquarters of the philip morris tobacco agency who makes marlboro cigarettes okay and the first Confederate flag was flown at this address. In 1701, wow. No, no, that's oh, the Beaton. location of it in Virginia. Yeah. So wow. 1701 is the address of the Philip Morris Tobacco Company in Richmond, Virginia, and the location of the first, first flying of the confled, f- Confederate fa- flag. Now, <laughs> careful. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Gene Roddenberry. What do you know about him? He's the man who invented Star Trek. He's dead now. <laughs> they reckon that he's kind of a liberal, a kind of a. Is it somebody wants to talk about the. I, Star I don't know. Trek Joe, it's Joe, so I suspect oh, that, he probably it, has something to okay. say. If the KKK is being funded or, or has some sort of money income from Philip Morris or whatever, what the hell are they using the money for? It's surely not dental care and, and higher education. Laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but come on. How many sheets can you buy for that much Got money? I mean, that's that's a lot of cancer going but on they there. Take, for they take a lot know. of keeping clean, don't they? There's uniforms. You thought they'd have gone for something a little bit more sort of earth coloured, earth tones. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Actually, there's something about if you look at George Lucas's films, too. I read something on a webpage recently. If you look at like American Graffiti, there's references to Star Wars and some fantasy books and other things that he did, like on the license plates of the cars. So, I mean, these people are always, there's always some kind of link. But I don't know, I, th- I think fetching them for the, 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 the KKK and Philip Morris, I think it's a bit far reached. I mean, I, I don't really get it. The trouble is, it just I works and it go. works and it works. The more you go looking, the more clues you find that shows that Star Trek is absolutely marbled through with motifs and emblems and aspirations that match the the Ku Klux Klan. That's very good, yeah. So so what's the conspiracy with, like, George Takei being in in an internment camp during World War II? Is there anything with that in the KKK and what they don't like? I don't know anything anything about that. I don't know. know. I was just trying to dig in. I mean, maybe you guys can find something in there. I don't know. I've got another one. Thank you for your call, Joe. Another one, okay? This is a really interesting one. You know, Stuart, you might, might not know this. You know Captain Kirk wasn't going to be the captain in the first episode it was somebody else yes and I rem- uh, Pike his was name was Pike yes had funny enough another K funny enough another K mm. but not only that only one confederate general has a statue celebrating himself in Washington DC only one confederate general 
Right? Okay. The most famous American Civil War Confederate general of them all okay. was called Lee Pike. Oh, Pike, sorry. Yes. Pike. So what do you think called General Pike. Lee? I okay. see. General Lee was quite well known. <laughs> yeah. um, <coughs> Pike. Pike, take a Skype call. Hey. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Hello, was, Play that, Radio here. Who's this? It was Robin, but she's cut herself off, so... Damn, OK, try again. OK, and it just goes on. I, I ain't going to do it all now, but I, I honestly believe that there is a, a question to be asked of the makers of Star Trek... Mm. I can see your point. Why, yeah, yeah. Wh- now, this is what I stumbled on today. You know, they don't want Shatner to be the in in the new movie. Yes, they don't want him to be in the new movie. Right. I thought to myself, it can't be because there's any kind of quasi association between William Shatner and the Ku Klux Klan. Can there? No, no. There can't be. Can no, there? that's right. Yeah, no. But so I. I did the research. Well, didn't you see? Because Shatner was the first white person on television to kiss a black person, wasn't he? When he when he kissed Uhura on the screen, he was the first American TV program to ever do that. No, he wasn't. Well, allegedly, that, yeah. I mean, the urban myth is as uh, actually the first two people to have an interracial kiss were Sammy Davis Jr. and Nancy Sinatra. Right, uh, some time before then. But, okay, but but Star Trek managed to get that one out there, didn't they? Yeah. Take a Skype call. Hey, Skype. Good day. How are you going? Never been better. Who's this? It's Christina calling from Tassie. Can you hear me? Nah, knockout. How are you doing? Yeah, good. You're all this talk about geeks and Star Trek. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit blokey, isn't it? But um... It was worth getting up this early for, wasn't it? <laughs> it's very, well, it's not that early, actually. It's 8.30 now. The gap's closed a little since changing clocks. Okay, so it's Monday morning in Tasmania, yeah? It is. And what's the day for you, dear? Oh, looking after some people's animals and, and going to see a man about some land for my horses, which is very exciting. Yeah, you you make it sound like a good life. I've, um, if I remember rightly, you you um, your life is all riding horses with the wind in your blonde hair and, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and listening to strange internet radio things on your laptop in bed. Oh, yes, over here in Australia, we don't need to work <laughs> or anything like that. No, it's not quite that idyllic, unfortunately. And I don't have blonde hair. Oh, well. <laughs> in my mind, you do. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, are, there any, are there any myths you'd like me to debunk about Australians about, while I'm here? About Australians. That you all do bar work. <laughs> um, no, that's false. <laughs> <laughs> that Bruce is the most popular male name. Um, no, it's not very common at all, actually. What about, Sh- what about Sheila? Sheila, no. But we are called Sheilas. Do, by men. do, <laughs> do the Australian men leave you guys at the table when they go to the pub or the bar and go up to the bar and talk amongst themselves and then pick you up on the way out? No. No? Well. <laughs> Some of them do. If they did that with me, I'd be leaving. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, then you, I, I heard you talk about the Australian um, sexist book comment last week. And I actually think Australian men are a lot less sexist than, than English men, the ones I've come across. 